Example 1. Find the GCF of 72 and 90. Step 1. Find the prime factorization of each number using a factoring tree. So let's start with 72 and break it down into prime factorization. 2 times 36. Then 36 can be broken down into 2 times 18. 18 can be broken down into 2 times 9 and 9 can be broken down into 3 times 3. So at the end of each branch is a prime number. Now let's look at 90. 90 can be broken down into 2 times 45. 45 can be broken down into 3 times 15. And 15 can be broken down into 3 times 5. And again, at the end of each branch is a prime number. Now let's look at step two. Choose each common prime number the least number of times it occurs in any factorization. So you'll notice that the factor two occurs three times in the factorization of 72 and only one time in the factorization of 90. So that means the least number of times it occurs is once. So we write down one factor of two. Now we come to the next factor. The factor three occurs two times in the factorization of 72 and also two times in the factorization of 90. So the least number of times it occurred was two times. So we write down two factors of three. Now we look at the next factor. We see that 5 occurs one time in the factorization of 90 and 0 times in the factorization of 72. So the least number of times it occurred was 0. So we include 0 factors of 5. Now step 3 says we multiply the factors chosen in step 2. So we multiply 2 times 3, which is 6 and 6 times 3, which is 18. So the GCF of 72 and 90 is 18, which means 18 is the largest number that divides evenly into both 72 and 90.